Right now at 5, the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra has taken a new step in its contract fight with musicians, locking them out today. Good evening to you. I'm Erica Fly. And I'm Todd Connor. The stalled labor talks have already forced the ISO to cancel two weeks worth of shows. RTV6 reporter Rafael Sanchez is live. Uh, Todd, good evening. Uh, thousands of ticket holders are now feeling the impact of that labor dispute now that concerts over the next two weekends have been canceled and the rest of the fall season could be at risk. New at five, the musicians locked out. These are not street performers. They're members of the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra that on a typical Monday at 11 would be in rehearsals for this weekend's concerts. But the musicians are locked out of the Hilbert Circle Theater after contract talks with the Symphony Society fell apart. You know, this orchestra hasn't been in a labor's dispute like this for 41 years, so this, is not, this does not come naturally to us. The Symphony Society is looking to close a $10 million budget gap. It is asking the orchestra to take pay cuts and reduce the number of performers to keep them in business. The ISO union says its members are willing to take 20% in wage reductions. Management initially asked for 57 percent. In a statement, the society says the ISO's intent all along has been to maintain the artistic quality in an economically sustainable way. There's such a ripple effect. Without these concerts, you're talking about restaurants, parking garages, um, all of the, the businesses downtown that are affected by not having the crowds of people here for these concerts. The dispute isn't helping an organization that with every cancellation is losing the dollars it needs. Also on the radar, the future of the traditional Yuletide celebration three months away and the fate of new conductor Christoph Urbanski. The conductor brought in to energize and bring in a younger and hipper crowd is waiting to take the stage. So we could see more performances of those musicians over the next couple of days right out here in front of Circle Theater every day between the hours of 11 and 1. As for Urbanski and the other conductors, they're not involved in this labor dispute. Urbanski himself is in the second year of a three-year contract. But this review from the L.A. Times says that if Indianapolis can't use his services, this critic says that other philharmonics in Germany and Austria would like to use his talents. Todd? Love to have them. Uh, people, uh, Rafael, a lot of people at home sitting there right now saying, hey, I have tickets. What do I do about the tickets I have? You know, as, as the consumer guy, I always ask about the tickets. And so this is what they're telling me. You have options in this case. You can either get a refund for the tickets. You could either get tickets for other performances later in the fall or next year, or you can make a donation to the symphony. All right. Rafael Sanchez reporting live downtown. This certainly does affect a lot of people. Thanks, Rafael.